Any true and lasting impact by the newer test-playing countries had to await the years following the Second World War. Nevertheless, there were quality batsmen from those countries, and none carried a heavier burden so independently and successfully as Jamaica's George Headley. In England and Australia, they called this wonderful little batsman the Black Bradman. At home in the Caribbean, they tended to think of Bradman as the White Headley. He was the first to invalidate the old credo that white man bat, black man ball. And despite the flow of batting talent to emerge from West Indian territory since the war, Headley, the brave and inventive boy from Panama, still stands alone. <laughs>